Under the scorching heat of Africa, the Sahara is not just a vast land filled with sand and mountains. It holds secrets that change the history of the Earth itself. In this video, let's dig deeper into the mysteries of the Sahara Desert. Covering over 9 million square kilometers, the Sahara Desert is the largest in the world. But have you ever wondered what was there before it? Africa is perhaps the most mysterious continent on Earth. If we look to the south of Africa, we see lush green pastures, but towards the north, a completely different view unfolds. Panning over 10 African countries – Algeria, Chad, Egypt, Libya, Mali, Mauritania, Morocco, Niger, Sudan, and Tunisia – the Sahara Desert meets the Atlantic Ocean on the west, the Red Sea on the east, the Sahel Savanna on the south, and the Mediterranean Sea on the north. How is such a large piece of land that's surrounded by water from all four sides a vast wasteland covered in sand? Has it always been like this? Get ready to find out the truth. Scientists believe that the iconic Sahara was very different 10,000 years ago. The northern African strip was once a land filled with life. Rivers and lakes, grasslands, people and animals all enjoyed the fruits of nature, which now have completely vanished. Archaeologist David Wright suggests that maybe it was the humans and their livestock that triggered this substantial ecological shift. In the journal Frontiers in Earth Science, Wright puts forward his findings that would change how scientists, archaeologists, and paleoecologists look at the Sahara. Unsurprisingly, the Sahara Desert has been a place of interest for scientists and archaeologists who wish to study life and the history of this planet. Through research over the years, it's understood that the Sahara region has faced spells of great aridity and humid climate. These variations were caused by little shakes to the Earth's orbital axis. These slight shifts caused a change in the angle, which allowed solar radiation to enter our atmosphere. What was once a land rich with life turned into a dry patch. Wright, however, feels that the shifts in the axis of the Earth were not the only reason for this drastic change. He detected a pattern with data gathered through archaeological and environmental means, mainly pollen and sediment cores. Wherever humans lived with their livestock, there was a considerable change in the plantation pattern in that area. That's not surprising because we see the same phenomena still today. Every place humans pass by, they leave behind ruins and dust. Wright suggests, by overgrazing the grasses, they were reducing the amount of atmospheric moisture. This overgrazing might have worked as a catalyst for the existing orbit shifts, resulting in the formation of the Sahara as we know it today. So, if the Sahara Desert was once a habitable place, what was there which is now lost? Stay with us as we reveal the hidden secrets of the Sahara. Now here's a question for you. Can you picture whales swimming in the Sahara? Surely not, since whales cannot survive without water. But in 1902, a team of geologists who traveled through a valley in the western Egyptian desert found bones that belonged to whales. Are you shocked? It wouldn't be surprising since the researchers also couldn't believe what they had stumbled upon. Stunned by the mere sight of bones almost 50 feet long, geologists and scientists concluded that these bones were 37 million years old when shallow seawater covered that particular area in northern Egypt. Upon further investigation, it was discovered that the bones offered valuable insights into the evolution of whales. The most intriguing discovery was that these creatures had feet. A whale with feet? Boggles your mind, doesn't it? But scientists had always believed that whales were firstly land-based mammals who eventually, through evolution, lost their legs and gradually adapted to live underwater. While this theory seems far-fetched, evidence of this lies in present-day whales. Whales today have vestigial hind leg bones, suggesting that these creatures once had legs. As paleontologists continued to excavate, they found hundreds of fossils of whales with legs and knees in the Wadi Hitan region. The sheer number of bones and the condition in which they were discovered were astonishing. 
the valley is now under UNESCO and designated as a World Heritage Site that receives over 14,000 visitors each year. Paleontologists and scientists theorize that whales were originally pig-like animals that lived around water bodies, feeding on dead fish and other animals found around the shores. In order to find more food, they gradually entered the water, moving from shallow to deeper depths. And this is where the evolution process started, and over time, as they did not need to bear their body weight underwater, their bodies started to grow larger. So far in this video, we've learned that the Sahara was once a green land where humans lived, and cattle grazed and that it had water so deep that whales could swim within its depths. But are these the only secrets that the Sahara holds? What if there's a link between the Sahara and the lost city of Atlantis? Brace yourself as we trace the lost city in the dusty sands of the Sahara. Now let us take you to the Eye of the Sahara, also known as the Rishat structure or Gulib Rishat. When looked at from the skies, the Eye of the Sahara is a giant crater located in the middle of the Mauritania region of the Sahara Desert. Measuring 50 kilometers in diameter, the Eye of the Sahara is made up of uniform mountainous structures, which are entirely different from the rest of the desert. This amazing natural form was even used by astronauts in the 1960s as a guiding landmark to navigate outer space. Initially considered a huge crater, studies around its formation and structural makeup suggest that it is as old as the Proterozoic era, which dates back 1 billion to 542 million years. So, how is it related to the lost city of Atlantis? Plato's writings about the legendary city have lived in the mind of common folk, scientists, and even mystics. Where was this city built? How did it sink? If indeed it actually exists, then where are the remains? Atlantis is only mentioned by its name and texts from Plato, which were written around 360 BC, where he gives very particular details of the origins of Atlantis, including where it could have been situated and how it looked like. The detailed mentions are the only reason why it is believed that the city truly existed. In its description, Plato writes about its architectural design which consisted of concentric circles around the city. While there is a large group that considers Plato's text about the lost city of Atlantis to be purely fictional, there is debate as to what the inspiration for the subject matter must have been. Plato is famously known to reference and borrow from ancient tautologies and traditions, which is why some historians believe that the legend of Atlantis was inspired by the Thera eruption, the Sea People's invasion which is documented in ancient Egyptian records. Even with such a high possibility of the city's existence being purely imaginary, many sites have been proposed for Atlantis's relocation in the past. The most plausible locations are the Mediterranean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. However, recent research on the matter shed light on how the Rishat structure, more commonly known as the Eye of the Sahara, is by far the closest match to Plato's description of the lost city of Atlantis. From its concentric circles to its diameter, the Eye of the Sahara has many of the same characteristics as that described by Plato. One of the most intriguing similarities in the mountains towards the city's north, which are the same as the Eye of the Sahara. Since Atlantis was described as a land surrounded by water, the Mediterranean Sea or the Atlantic Ocean seemed like possible locations where the city might have drowned. But how could we have been looking at the wrong places all this time? According to research, the satellite imagery of the Eye of the Sahara shows how the water around the area created the structural formation we see today. From green pastures and flowing oceans, evidence of sea mammals, could the Eye of the Sahara be the lost city of Atlantis? What other secrets lie under billions of tons of sand? The Sahara Desert continues to mystify researchers, and only time will tell what amazing discoveries lay hidden in the world's largest desert. We hope this travel back in time was enjoyable. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel as we continue to debunk more ancient myths. 
make sure to press the bell icon to ensure you get notifications for every new video. Who knows what mystery awaits you next time?